terms of serving the nation and like uh, doing civil services, what I'd like to do is invite Udayan. Udayan Shubhuddi is our 2018 CST. He's a 2023 batch officer of the Indian Forest Service, one of the three All India services, other two being IAS and IPS, of course. He secured 19th rank in the All India UPSC IFS examination 2022 and currently undergoing training at the Indira Gandhi National Forest Academy, Dehradun, and Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration in Missouri for two years. And Udan had a brief stint with PwC India as a consultant before committing to UPSC civil services. So, Udayan, please. Yes, sir. Firstly, thank you, Bimanda and Gavisu, for hosting such an insightful seminar. Also, good evening to each distinguished alumni of IST Shippur who has volunteered to speak today. Finally, a very warm good evening to each and every member associated with IST Shippur who are present live today. So after graduating in 2018 as a computer science engineer, I, through the campus placement, worked at PricewaterhouseCoopers at Kolkata for about a year. But then I realized that uh, I wanted to do something directly for the society and make an impact at much broader but local level. Thus, I opted for preparing for civil services. Because civil services, I think, is one of the ways through which one can contribute directly to the society at a much local level. So today, around 60% of those entering the civil services are engineers. But And, and these they are from brilliant institutions like IITs, NITs, etc. But unfortunately, I have seen that from our institution and alma mater, not many of the students are preparing or even if they're preparing, they're not getting the proper guidance. Thus, I would like to uh, have this opportunity to throw some light on the aspects and career prospects in the civil services field. So after the 1991 LPG reforms, the role of government shifted from regulator to facilitator. And it's the civil services, the permanent executives of the country, who have this mandate to run the government in tandem with the ever-growing private sector. Thus, we need efficient people in this sector to work in synergy with the ever-growing R&D institutions and other co corporate organizations to build the nation of our dream. So talking about civil services, civil services is the permanent executive branch of the country. It implements policy of the government of India and various state governments. And at the later stages, it also leads to policy formulation. Broadly speaking, at the government of India level, there are two major kinds of civil services, one being central services and other being the all India services. Central services examples being IRS income tax, IRS customs, Indian foreign services, Indian audit and account services, Indian railway management services, Indian defense account services, Indian defense estate services, and etc. There are three all India services, which have the constitutional backing. So only the all India services have been prescribed in the constitution of India under Article 312. And they are namely Indian Administrative Service, Indian Police Service, and the Indian Forest Service. So it, what is different between these services, that is Central Service and All India Services? All India Services can work both for the center and state. So initially, these are cadre-based services, IAS, IPS, and IFS. So we are assigned a specific cadre. So for example, I have been allotted Odisha cadre. So they can work both for the state government and the central government, it may, its main mandate is to balance the federal structure of the nation. That is, it acts as a point of convergence between the central and the state schemes. And finally, it implements the policy. Speaking about the Indian forest services, it's a technical services. Per se, it means that only science students are eligible for the services. The examination pattern of the services is similar to the civil service and the prelims is also common. But mains and interviews are different. So it's one of the three All India services. It's responsible mainly for managing the natural resources of the nation. Today, when there are talks about climate change, sustainability development, and other global warming issues, Indian Forest Service is an important services of the future, and also in the present, which eventually helps in making environmental policies and regulations of the nation. So <clears throat> its main scope is building the forest cover of the nation. For that matter, uh, as per the recent data by the Forest Survey of India, the national forest cover of India is around 25%. And the mandate is to create the 33% of the total area of India under the forest. 
so this is the main mandate of the indian forest services but there are other aspects associated with it as well so for example one being wildlife conservation so the field directors of the various national parks wildlife sanctuaries and tiger reserves are also from in the indian forest services climate change and environmental policy formulations at international and national level so one can represent india at the united nations environment program and other international organizations through this service also there is a huge scope of improving the livelihood of the fringe societies those who are forest dwellers and living around the nearby areas so currently as per the census around 40% of the nation's population are those who live in the fringe areas so for the development of their lives like school edu- education healthcare public infrastructure building this is also one of the aspect of the indian forest service other scope being academics so indian for many for officers from this service have gone to various institutions for higher studies like masters phd's from yale harvard university of pennsylvania university of melbourne etc and these are all government funded programs apart from that one can also work in other ministries as deputy secretary director joint secretary additional secretary on similar lines as uh, an ias officer also goes to deputations in these sectors one can also manage public sector units one can become the director of psus of coal india bhl etc and also officers like chief vigilance officer regional passport officer managing directors of various government companies so these are the basic scope of the indian forest service about the training so currently i am undergoing training since i am a 2023 batch officer so i have recently joined the training one month ago so it's a 24 month program and four months being at the lal bahadur shastri national academy of administration masuri and other 20 months being at the indira gandhi national forest academy dehradun the aspects of the training are very unique to this service like we have attachments in parliament rashtrapati bhavan vice president office ministry of environment ngo Indian Military Academy, National Police Academy, National Academy of Direct Access, Wildlife Institute of India, I am Lucknow, etc. And also one of the unique aspect of this service is you have to be an adventurer and a tour tourist. So you will visit almost twenty two states of India even during the training program. And after the training, one will eventually receive three degrees. That is MBA in Natural Resource Management. postgraduate diploma in environmental law from nlu bangalore and msc in forestry so uh, about the civil services <clears throat> there are many aspects of this but about the examination there are three stages to clearing the civil services that is the prelims interview and the mains the prelims is uh, basically objective in nature while the mains is subjective in nature and the interview is uh, face to face conversation with five panel members eligibility is 21 years and the unique thing about the indian forest service is it's only applicable or only eligible for science students because environment change climate regulation these are all science based issues so the government of india has also acknowledged this and for the last 150 years it has always been a scientific stream so at the end i would like to say that while corporate sector and civil society organization are playing their part in contributing to the sustainability development goal that the un has prescribed the onus is also on the government to facilitate such initiative through in- inclusive policies and the indian forest service provides the opportunity to do so at national and international level thank you thank you very much udayan one thing uh... i don't know whether we are a little bit biased toward richardson hall udayan was from richardson hall and i talk to the students they said you also stayed in richardson hall and yes. those of you who don't know udan comes from a family of ias his father is actually a joint secretary in the madhya pradesh government thank you very very much udan